Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about visualizing percent and its relationship to fractions, ratios, and decimal numbers using models. What does the shaded parts mean? The figure is composed of 100 small squares. There are 9 squares shaded blue. As a fraction, the blue region is 9 over 100 or 9 per 100. As a ratio, the blue region is 9 is to 100 because 9 is compared to 100. The ratio 9 is to 100 means 9 per 100. Another name for per 100 is percent. This is the symbol for percent. 9 is to 100 or 9 per 100 is also written as 9 and the percent sign. We read this as 9%. Percent symbol takes place of the denominator 100 in a fraction. That is why 9 over 100 is equal to 9%. Likewise, the symbol percent replaces the term 100 in a ratio. So, 9 is to 100 is 9%. As we already know that 9 over 100 is 9 hundredths as a decimal. So, 9% is also 9 hundredths. What do you mean by percent? Percent is a special ratio that compares a certain number to 100. It is a ratio whose meaning is like a fraction with a denominator of 100. Therefore, we can express percent as ratio, fraction, decimal number, and vice versa. One whole is always 100% because 100% is equal to 100 divided by 100 is equal to 1. One whole can be a set or a figure. A set of any number of objects is equivalent to 100% because we are referring to one whole group. Observe this example. A set of five puppies is equal to 100%. If we divide the set of puppies into 5, each puppy will be 20% because the whole group is 100%. 100% divided by 5 is equal to 20%. To understand fully our lesson, let's study the following examples. Express the answer in percent notation. Number 1. 34 out of 100 children in the playground are playing soccer. Blank are playing soccer. So we're going to express 34 out of 100 into a percent notation. So 34 out of 100 is equal to? Alright, you get the correct answer. 34%. Another one. Kim got 92 out of 100 in a math test. He got blank in a math test. Okay, express 92 out of 100 in a percent notation. What is your answer? Alright, you get the correct answer. 92%. Next number. 76 per 100 participants in a seminar are females. Black are females. So, in percent notation, the answer is 76%. Right, you get the correct answer. Next one. 95 out of 100 pupils like mathematics. Black of the pupils like mathematics. And the correct answer is? Alright, 95%. Write the percent notation for each. First number, 67 is to 100. And the answer is equal to? Alright, you get the correct answer, 67%. How about this? 
43 hundredths. In percent, our answer is equal to, all right, 43 percent. Next one, 89 per hundred. And in percent notation, the answer is equal to, very good, 89 percent. Next one, four hundredths. In percent, it is equal to 4%. And last one, 55 is to 100. In percent notation, our answer is equal to, very good, it is 55%. Congratulations, you know already how to change decimal, ratio, and fraction to percent notation. So, what percent is represented by the shaded regions? Observe the number of regions in this figure. This figure is divided into five equal parts. Take note that one figure is equal to 100%. So, 100% divided by 5 is equal to 20%. Each region is equal to 20%. If there are three shaded parts, then what percent is the shaded regions? All right, the answer is equal to 60%. For the next figure, it is divided into four equal parts. So, 100% divided by 4 is equal to 25%. Each part is equal to 25%. Then, what percent is the shaded regions? Very good. The answer is equal to 50%. This figure is divided into 10 equal parts. So, 100% divided by 10 is equal to 10%. What percent is the shaded part? All right. You get the correct answer. It is 70%. For the last figure, it is divided into 25 equal regions. So, 100% divided by 25 is equal to 4%. So, there are 20 shaded regions. What percent is the shaded regions? Very good. The answer is 80%. I hope that you understand our lesson for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.